diagnostic area for those ones. I feel the joints, feel the general sort of stiffness in his hands, but some of his fingers are, are not so bad, not as bad as his feet, in fact. But this one is, this one's tight. Okay, so that's why, you know, again, but I, I think with Dave, it's good just to take off a bit here, a bit there, and, and get a whole thing, and just get him into a deeper state of relaxation, because he's very busy, you know, thinking a lot. He's got a lot on his plate with his business and everything like that. We just want him to get into a, a deep state. He's, he's highly strung a bit, or reasonably highly strung. So, so that's where I would then start. Okay, we got him in a, I like his breath rate. Make sure, as a practitioner, that you're also breathing. Right? You'll be setting the tone of the breath. So if you hold your breath and you're just focused, then they will hold their breath. So every once in a while, just monitor yourself. Am I deep breathing? <sighs> and even sometimes I make a sigh. Mm -hmm. And that's just like, the, it subconsciously says a message to that person. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, and it's okay to let a bit of noise out. Right. Even a lot of noise. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Right, but that's just, it's a subconscious thing. Like when one person yawns in a room, other people will yawn as well. So again, I can see how, you know, his toe is very pulled back here, okay? And I, I feel like I'm not gonna use the tools just yet on day. I just wanna sort of get in there and do a bit of a bit of everything everywhere, just, Use the fact that we've got a good breath going on Dave to just eliminate some tension, letting him breathe into it and, and relax. So I always say we're like the assistant to the breath, all right? So he's breathing in, I'm monitoring that. I'm monitoring what I call the micro and the macro, the small picture and the big picture. So I'm seeing how much am I stirring up and then how much is he processing? Okay, and again, focusing on that big toe so i'm starting i'm going to give that a little bit of a, a turn because he's got it it's slightly curving inward and then again working into the edges all the while i'm having to keep a certain pace because if i go too fast his breath rate will increase rapidly and he won't be able to process so i'm sort of keeping it nice and slow and working along this big toe belly band. Oh. Just at a nice, slow and steady pace. And I can see every once in a while, he might just need a bit of time to catch his breath. And again, make sure you're breathing. And then come back to it, stir up a bit more. So the breath's like a vacuum cleaner. I'm like deep cleaning here. And gunk has probably been sitting there for a long time. I'm breaking it up. It's going into his bloodstream, but it's also his energy field. And the breath is moving the energy as well. So some people think always energy work is very light. But it's not because the body's completely composed of energy, whether it be Earth is an energy, or water, fire, air. Like, you know, you know. That's right. The breath creates movement. The breath creates a dynamic movement. Whereas if a person's not breathing deeply, there's stagnation. And you said you could also push energy down if you were working the wrong way, right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas, and then it'll pool in the toe. Like if I'm pushing this way, mm -hmm. it'll pool in the toes. It'll feel really strange because okay. it's got nowhere to go. It needs to, by pushing it upward, it's processed by the deep breathing. Okay. It's also processed by crying. It's also processed by screaming. Mm -hmm. It's also processed by burping, by sighing, by farting. All of this is actually energy release. Mm -hmm. Even tingling, it's like energy letting go or, or twitching and things like mm -hmm. that. It's all energy just letting go. When I had my logo design brand and I had a few things in mind that I wanted to capture in the logo. Mm -hmm. One was motion, yeah. breath. Breath. So yeah. you see at their bellies, on our logo, it has come out their wings. Yeah. And then it's always, it's like community aspect as well too. So one person's massaging the other, and they're each massaging each other, and all their hands are in the middle for the greater good of everybody. No. no. And then it's the four layers of tension, mind, oh. emotions, and trauma. Hmm. So now I'm getting into this, this joint down here. Oh. 
Oof. And again, you can see I'm I'm working at his limit. If I worked any harder, he would tighten up against me. But he's processing what I'm doing. So I was coming in. This is where he's very tight, just in here. And I was working it like that. You can see it. And so again, I can see that breath rate going up. So I always like to talk about regulated release. And the regulating factor of that release is the breath. Okay. So we stir up. He processes. So I'm letting him catch up now. Let him have a breath. If I feel like it's pushed up, but it hasn't come out, I come back to his belly, get him to breathe, and then... I like to do a lot of rocking. Rocking helps energy to move. It helps emotion to move. Some people talk about emotion being like energy and motion, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so I'm coming back now to where I was before. And again, just working at that, working at that um, pressure and intensity just below where he's tightening up against me. Oh, nice play. Yeah. Yeah. And then letting him catch up with his breath there. You can, I feel like we're stirring some stuff up. There's some energy going. I feel like perhaps some emotion could be there. So I'm gently working while I'm waiting for him to catch up. Just doing a little bit of work on this tight area here. Mm. Yeah, a bit more intensity as he catches up. Following that delta band, so right from here. As I say, I don't really need a chomstick right now. <laughs> My hands are doing... <laughs> Good enough job. Yeah. <laughs> so the good thing with Dave is it's not like we need to go that hard or anything. It's not like some heavy heat. It's easy to shift, but he's very tight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, monitoring that breath. Sometimes I like to even tune my breath in a little bit. To his. I'm just letting him catch up. stirring up some more. And I can see he's very tight in here. But he's letting it go. How do you really feel about it? <laughs> and then I let him catch up before he tightens and pulls. As he starts to pull his foot away, I go, okay, no. let him catch up. And then give me his foot back. <laughs> he's not because he knows I'm working just at his threshold. He's not saying stop because there always is that magic word of stop. But I'm working right on that threshold for him. And again, I can come in and clear out any of that that got trapped in his tummy and didn't come out. So just really just respecting that rhythm and flow that's created by his breath.
So we're assisting his body to release. That's why I say it's so important to understand that. His breath is doing it. We're assisting it. We're stirring stuff up. He's breathing it out. Partnership model medicine. Little click there. And again, coming back into here. And just working through. So I'm stretching the toe in different ways. And then while it's stretched, <laughs> gently working across here. And letting him feel. You feeling it, Dave? <laughs> I think he's feeling lots of things. Okay, and letting him breath his breath. So if tension is caused by emotional reasons or emotional stress, when we activate it, when he breathes into it, so when we get the right spot, but as long as he's breathing into it, then yes, emotion will come up. Okay. If tension is caused by physical reasons, like his shoes or he's got his feet on the accelerator or then then it won't cause an emotional reaction. Right. Okay. It'll just be he breathes out and the tension goes. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, I don't like to think that we're or say that, oh yes, we can bring on an emotional release or something like that. Because <coughs> the emotions are in him. Oh, nice big click there. Did mm -hmm. you hear that? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So really restructuring his foot and just letting his breath clear it all out. Like his these bones are really close together too. Let's speak. Yeah. <coughs> well, I'll let him catch his breath with that because that's just even pulling those toes. And then what I what I feel with Dave is because it's so easy to hit his threshold right now being so tight is I'm just moving around a bit I'm doing a bit here and a bit there and things are letting go and another another crack in that joint so huge <laughs> and he just he doesn't know what yeah he's you know <laughs> I find just moving the foot around without actually putting pressure just yep that's and click it too yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's that out of control, you know, when you when you finally let go of control as well, and it's, it's emotion. And oftentimes people laugh hysterically before they cry too, so or before they have other emotions. So sometimes you you know people just you just go, well, what's so funny, you know? <laughs> but you know it is kind of funny. It's also liberating when tension goes, you know. So it's a joy feeling you can have. Emotional release is just a joy as well. For me, that joy flows. You said it was a joy, anger, crying, and what was the other one? It can be grief, it can be sadness, it can be shame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and again, we can just. Good crap. Okay. <laughs> So to me, so much of good massage is about working with rhythm and flow. It's just about working with his breath. 
he processes it, we give him more to process. And we don't let it get stuck. So I can come to the next toe. somewhat sensitive and, and again I'm just really trying to tune into his breath and go okay what level can I work at here where it's not going to make him overwhelmed but that he can breathe into and process it's that fine tuning that produces a good partnership in a release letting him breathe Sometimes it just completely stop. Just let him catch up with his breath. Gradually deep, he'll go into a deeper and deeper state of consciousness where it's just letting go. And then again, squeezing the tips of the toes. And gradually working into the bigger. I'm always trying to tune in, tuning into that breath. What am I hearing? <sighs> has he settled? Has he, has he breathed out everything that I've stirred up? Is he ready for more? Because if a person hasn't breathed out everything that you've stirred up, then they'll kind of resist you, right? Yeah, they'll tense up against you. So that, that's not actually effective. Do you find that the big size kind of the final puppy? Yeah, yeah, you so could. Accept. And then it's like, okay, ready for more. But sometimes then a person can actually get into such a state where they're kind of like, you know, like that. And, and, and okay, we plateau them at that stage. Yeah. <laughs> or they go like into a, a kind of unconscious sleeping kind of thing. I've had people even stop a couple times, completely stop breathing for a few minutes. I was freaking out, but actually they were in a complete state of like samadhi or bliss in another world entirely. And then they were in such a nice state. Again, just working there. And again, I see him tightening up against me, so I ease off a little bit. I could even, you know, work somewhere else, or I could follow this band up now so that I'm not... Yeah, that's right. It's all in that big toe. So following the various bands up that are coming, especially the ones from the big toe, because even if I've created a 25% a release down here, then I should be able to get 25 out as the bands go up as well. Yeah, and now by doing like a complete final hot bubble, you can even just like roll it up. Yeah, yeah, wherever it's... And then coming back to this toe, and the big one here. <sighs> now I take a deep breath, and that's going to hopefully encourage him to keep that breath going. Again, moving that joint side to side, and then gently squeezing. <laughs> anyway, he's what I call him charge. He's got a charge in there. Uh, he acknowledges that. I know he does. <laughs> And then again, just moving that big toe. Ooh, oh, ah. <laughs> and process. So stirring it up a bit, you know, taking a bit and then letting him catch up with his breath. Okay, moving his arm like that. Is that also his way of releasing energy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like energy. His arm's buzzing. His arm's buzzing, so he's just like, okay. that's all. But like electrical energy. Yeah. 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 Big breath. And it's more so on the probably on the arm on the side that I'm working. Yeah. It's literally from here to here. Wow. So what I would still like to say to you is I know you're doing that to get the negative energy out. Um, I'd like to see the difference in with the actual massaging of the band. Compared to just pushing the energy out. Yeah. 
So I would only do that after I've done the legs. Otherwise, you're going to be butting up against tension that's okay. anchored right. here. So I do the legs first, and then we'll come up. Okay. Yeah. And you'll see how they'll just start to let go. Then. Sure. That's probably even yeah, the most important thing about a tall little massage mm -hmm. is do the do the legs first. Next, I would like to see the woman up top of my head. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, coming back to this uh, here, the kind of likes, I suppose, is one way to describe it, or appreciates, or, you know, feels the importance of, perhaps, is another way. Get the correct English word. Let him breathe, man. following the delta band up. And then working up. Into here, because he seems to be holding it right in here. And I'm just on the edge of the foot here. Yeah, so I'm rolling over it. So we've got the band coming like this, and then I'm cross fibering it. So just so. like the chopstick. That's right. Okay. Just a bit bigger with my finger. And again, coming into here. And here I'm using the side of my, my finger, almost the nail, because I've got the sock there that gives it a bit of cushioning too. So I'm not worried so much about scratching. Yeah, scratching. And my nails aren't that sharp, they're quite short anyway, so. Oh, another click. And again, just stretching them up like that, and then gently working up here. <laughs> 